गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर फोर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ अवर एस एस टी टेक्सट बुक स्टैंडर्ड एट सो वॉट इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट यू मस्ट सी दिस वीडियो वेरी वेरी केयरफुली सो द हाइएस्ट ऑफ द कोर्ट इज द एस सी कोर्ट मीन्स द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एज वेल एज यू कैन से द सुप्रीम कोर्ट डील्स विद द वेरी काइंड ऑफ केसेज एंड ऑल विच आर हायर इन देर ओन वैल्यू द क्रिमिनल केसेज द प्रॉपर्टी केसेज द स्टेट वाइड केसेज द कंट्री केसेज लॉट्स ऑफ काइंड ऑफ केसेज सो दिस लेसन विल मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ यू कैन बी ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी यूजफुल यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज योर ब्रेन ऑन वेन यू आर स्टक इन अ प्रॉब्लम एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन हाउ मेक योर सेल्फ अमॉन्ग मैन टूवर्ड्स द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन एज आई एम शोइंग यू द इमेज यू कैन सी देर इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट नोट फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ग्लोबल दैट इज ग्लोबल ट्रेंडर्स टू रिवाइव के जी एफ माइंड ऑल्सो टू सेट अप ऑल द काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट दिस लेसन फर्स्ट पेज दैट इज पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेज दैट इजिली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द थिंकिंग रिलेशन विद द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड द सेफ गार्डिंग ऑफ द वेलफेयर ऑफ द पीपल ऑल्सो दे गो वन थिंग इज प्रिटी श्योर कॉमन लॉज आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द सेफ्टी एंड द वेलफेयर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वेन द सिटीजन और द इंस्टीट्यूशन आर एक्चुअली ब्रेकिंग द लॉज एंड ऑल स्पेसिफिक प्रोसेस फॉलो टू एड्रेस दैम the issue and they are also eligible to pay the penalty so therefore you can see it there is a hierarchy of the courts and impart justice in our country and it starts with the taluka court also the lowest court or we know that and that is how it is succeeding with the district court then goes to the high court and then comes the supreme court the court of all the courts what is judiciary if the question is there judiciary is an independent section of the law and it must be independent and that is how we can say the organs of the executive or the legislative or whatever the government is they must be working independently and in this independent court everybody must be equal and that is actually the law is framed out so what does independent of the judiciary means the question arises here you can see out here if there is any relation between court or your village city or supreme court located in area and the answer is no if you get the answer of this question in this chapter it is good for you so now let's see you can see here the image of the supreme court is already displaying here and which is looking very majestic so student you can identify yourself that what a nice kind of architecturally supreme court has been designed out here consisting internal library also and a powerhouse station also so what is supreme court first topic also the paragraph also and the question also okay after seeing the 4.2 image of the supreme court we need to go with the first paragraph what is the role of supreme court or what is the supreme court see generally if we go then we can understand that supreme court is the highest court like other courts also there but supreme court is the highest court among all the courts in the nation it also came into existence on 28th of january 1950 that is how it holds the right and conferring the fundamental grants also to issue by the constitution therefore citizens have right to file and appeal any kind of cases in the supreme court if any his or her fundamental rights have been violated if anybody has been threatened by any group if anybody has been violated any of his or her own rights and regulations he or she can be going and knocking the door of the supreme court that's how the institution can be also fined any citizen or the any institution can file a petition between the supreme court and also to avail for the justice according to the view point so therefore we can say according to the public interest this supreme court is working out here and so the constitution and the events feature is also advising the president and the parliament in the same way regarding the people also that if also enjoys the power to review the judgment passed about from the lower courts 
whatever the judgment are passed from the lower court if you are generally not satisfied then obviously there are some kinds of chances where you can ask and you can go with the doors of supreme court and that is how we can say you are actually not losing the faith or the constitution in government as well as the supreme court do so supreme court can review that case which has already been cleared in the lower court so the supreme court saw the dispute also between citizens government between like states between two of the centers of the state also as well as understanding about the other projects too here so one case will be taking that is related to the narmada moment case save narmada namami narmada now see on page number 27 4.3 image so you can see this is a very beautiful dam this is a narmada dam i am showing showing you the image of 4.3 the narmada dam this is the narmada dam which is making you understand that which kind of cases was running on behalf of narmada dam that is save narmada project now see the protest against increasing the height of narmada about 110 meters which was actually meeting near navagam so environmentalist organization as well as the ngos from madhya pradesh and other regions were fighting for this right tribals who would also lose their land see if the height of narmada is increasing obviously narmada will be needing some amount of land it means narmada will be going from internal villages also therefore the height of the villages it may be like it may be lost also of the nearing people so we can say there was a project running on save narmada project if we don't expand narmada then obviously narmada will be vanishing after some time so the supreme court passed a judgment on 8th march that is 2006 that conflict between two states that is gujarat and madhya pradesh so that is how it was also necessary to carry out the project and there was a possible a positivity development in the environment and benefit all kinds of living beings to the sardar sarovar yojanas also so they made yojana that was named as sardar patels on the name of sardar patels name that is sardar sarovar yojana the arid areas of rajasthan gujarat and madhya pradesh would get water expansion treaty was done and that's how the expansion of the desert could be also kept under control expansion of the desert means when the land is not having any kind of fertility when the land is not having any kind of humidity inside that it is becoming soil to the sand and that is how proper rehabilitation of the tribal people were also affecting so the ride of rajasthan idea of rajasthan madhya pradesh as well as the water will be not expanded if this project has been not completed so therefore they kept under control of this project and all and they also gave the permission and that's how we can say proper rehabilitation of this tribal affected tribal areas also affected by this project were somehow controlled and they should be given the top priority and hence the fundamental rights could be protected to here so therefore the project of supreme court relating the project of narmada relating with the supreme court was also somehow studied out by the help of the people after solving narmada case one question arises why is judiciary important judiciary is important to make trust and to also sustain trust of the people as well democracy apart from that judiciary is also important to control the crime to control the bad works and all and apart from the judiciary must be independent so now we will be reading now we will be understanding why is judiciary independent imagine yourself in a situation where a powerful person is actually making you to feel trouble captures the land belonging to you and your family you go to the court what do you do just go to court and you get your property back but the system is such powerful that a powerful system influences the court also and can remove a transfer judgment of the judge also therefore in this situation the judge would favor the powerful person only so what we do a case is there 
as i am telling you if your land is actually captured by a powerful person he is actually controlling the local area of the court also so when you are filing your case your case is just closed and shut down before referring and you are not getting any kind of justice so what you will do so if the judiciary is deprived of freedom means if judiciary is is kept under control of anyone if the power influences people that can control the judiciary there would be no impartial judgment there will be all the judgment over the side of wrong people only there will be all the judgment or the side of criminals only and the right person will be always losing faith on his own country that's why we can say that is why judiciary has to be kept independent judiciary must be independent and without any kind of fear without any kind of bribe without any kind of other judgments judiciary must do the decisions while observing the case no favoritism must be conducted there so that is why we can say that thus one of the judges must be appointed from the high court and supreme court and it becomes very difficult to expel them from the respective position so that's how the both the judges are coming from the different category so if an individual feels that his or her fundamental right is violated he or she can go to the court also you are thinking that if your fundamental rights are violated then you can easily knock the door of the supreme court next topic is are the courts at various levels connected with one another yes of course now see yes they are to understand let's understand the procedure of the filing petition if an individual finds a judgment which is given by the lower court not satisfactory and then he or she can also file the case once again to understand this concept let's discuss a case there were few houses in the southern direction where ratlam municipality had controlled the road or you can say like concluded the road now behind the houses was an old road leading the government college two of the houses behind the house one road is there going to the government college near the junction of the old and the new municipality road ran a culvert of the dirty water culvert of the dirty water means like a drain is running from there now what happened in that case before it is becoming source of power smell also as well the mosquitoes also slum dwellers answered the natural calls also by the side of culvert means the people are doing the urination people are going for their excretion also at the side of that same culvert which also makes the whole environment very dirty what will happen in this condition slum dwellers there also the so the health is actually deteriorating as well it has failed the control of the mosquitoes also so the resident and the repeated we can say areas writing an application as a result to remove this dirt around from the health benefits and all so to remove the whole amount of garbage and all to close that pit but they fail to take care of it as a result the residents will appeal to the taluka court and then they will be going to the subdivision minister registers also magistrate also so like this we can say the supreme court can be actually working out and all the courts must be connected with each other now see in this picture 4.5 a laborer is pulling a hand cart can any citizen appeal in a court is that true or not so see what it is written we have learned that any citizen can appeal in the court for the protection of his or her own rights but in reality poor people find very difficult to go in the supreme court now why it is that because see the procedure not only requires a lot of money of the supreme court along with that the paperwork but also it is very consuming of the time and poor people don't have that much time so they are not allowed it or they are not allowing themselves to go in the supreme court so for a poor person who is illiterate and incurring irregular income becomes really tough to go to the court and demand justice also to keep so keeping in this fact in the mind the supreme court has announced the provisions of the public interest litigation that is pil it means that in the year 1980 it was actually started so with this supreme court has made an effort to maximum people can reach up to the court the justice
means supreme court is allowing the poor people specially to go to the lower court or a joint body which is working near the supreme court and they can appeal their cases so that's how we can say if any person fundamentally is violated from rights and regulations high court or supreme court after getting the pil that is according to the act of 1980 it can be forward proceeded it can be procedurally by the group of judges and other peoples so for example pil were filed to free laborers for inhuman labor or to release the prisoners from the jail in bihar after the term of punishment was over so this are the general thing where we can say supreme court is helping and making us understand the rules and the regulations how we can live harmlessly the last line says that if the supreme court finds any pil regarding fundamental rights and or its implementation inappropriate then the court may punish the person group of people or the institutions so if you are filing a wrong case then supreme court will ask you for the determination and if you are found guilty in that so you are gone get some kind of punishment or you need to pay some amount of penalty amount too so you should not file a wrong case hope student you have understood this chapter